So that's you. You're going back to school right now and the first thing you do is buy lots of new aesthetic stationery. Like look at all these pretty notebooks, how can I not buy every single one? But why are you buying new notebooks when you have 10 back home that you haven't touched? Yes, I'm talking to you. Put that back. Just kidding. Of course you should do anything that will motivate you and get you excited for the new academic year. But a lot of the tips online involve spending money, which I wholeheartedly believe isn't necessary at all. So besties, in this video, we'll be talking about how to start your new academic year strong and some money-saving tips for students. Tip number four is literally a tip that my mom came up with, so I've not heard this anywhere before but it's so useful, so be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video to know what that is. First, make an all-in-one calendar. The first thing you want to do is get one of those flip calendars. A lot of companies and shopping malls give these out for free every year. Put it on your study desk and write down all the important exams you have. Your school, university or college will give you a schedule outlining all the important events for the year, including all your exam dates. If you have not received it, just email your teacher or your lecturer and ask for a copy. If you're a college or a university student, then you should also write down the deadlines for all your important assignments in this calendar. Then, write down all the important events that's happening in the next month at the bottom of the page of the current month. This is so that you don't flip the calendar, then be shocked that there is an exam on the first week. When there are reminders, then you know to start preparing early. Keep this in mind. Do not treat this calendar as a planner. Do not write down your schedule for the day or any homework that you have. This calendar is just to remind you of all the important dates that you have. That way, you won't be so caught up with all the work and activities that you have to the point where you lose track of time and get surprised by an exam or assignment at the end of the month. I literally forgot to study for an exam before, so I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. Next, always find out if there is a discount or free version for students. Companies such as Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Spotify, and many others, including clothing brands, have discounts specifically for students. If you're not sure if an app or brand has a student discount, just email their customer service and ask. You'll end up saving so much money. For example, let me introduce to you guys a free app and website that any student can use right now called Idenati. It is back to school season for a lot of you right now, so all your laptops would be looking like this real soon due to all your assignments and exams. So you can just use Idenati to organize all the websites that you use into different categories, which makes it 10 times easier to navigate because they're all in one place. You can create a category for school or university and have your school emails, Google Classrooms, Notion page, or Zoom links here. I also like creating separate categories for each subject. That way, you can link the PDF version of your textbook here for easy access or your favorite subject-specific YouTube channels. You can also create to-do lists on the side, set due dates, and link your websites for even more efficiency. Idenati is completely free, so I'll just leave a link to their website in the description box below and you can check it out if you're interested. Next, find out what you need to do now. I'll also be giving some scholarship advice, so listen up. If you're thinking of applying for summer jobs, internships, or university overseas, then find out the requirements and deadlines for everything now. The confusing thing is, different universities have different subject requirements. So if I want to study immunology in the UK, I need to take chemistry, it's compulsory. But if I want to study immunology in Australia, then I don't have to take chemistry. Here's how you can set up your spreadsheet to note down your interests and requirements for different universities. So it's so important to find out which university you want to go to and make sure that you're taking the subject that's required. 
If you want more advice on how to choose your college or university and how to pick your degree, be sure to check out my video titled Watch This Before Going to College. If you want to apply for scholarships for college or university, start looking for them now and write down all the deadlines. A lot of scholarships require you to write multiple essays in its application, so you should start preparing for your application at least a month before the deadline. You can also set up your spreadsheet like this to manage your scholarship applications. Here are some of the websites that I used to find scholarships as a Malaysian student. If you didn't know, I ended up receiving the Melbourne International Undergraduate Scholarship directly from the University of Melbourne, which has no bond. Yes! I always post updates about my journey to university in Australia over on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. Also, apply for every and any scholarship that's available to you. You might feel like you're not good enough, which means that other students also feel the same way. Therefore, no one ends up applying, so you must apply. Next, make a rough paper booklet. This is a hack that my mom taught me, and you know that moms know best. Get all your old exercise books from the previous year and tear out all the pages you didn't use at the end. Loosely tie them up with a rubber band or put them in a folder. You will use this batch of paper as rough paper. So you can tear this paper into small strips and make it into your to-do list. You can also use this as scrap paper to use for your mathematic workings. You can use this to scribble down notes during classes. Or you can use these papers for blurting, which is one of my favorite study techniques. Basically, after studying a topic, you scribble down everything you can remember about the topic. Then identify what you have missed out on. This life hack is not only efficient, but it's also environmentally friendly because you don't waste any papers. Next, only buy this one thing. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! Like I said, a lot of videos encourage you to buy new stationery, but how do you buy what you need if you don't even know what you need? If you need to buy anything before school starts, it's this. A simple folder. Please don't buy these thin, transparent tying ones. These literally tear in like a week. Instead, buy a button file folder. I don't have any right now, so let me just use this as an example. This will be your homework folder. So you'll stuff all your to-do lists or homework here. In your bag, you'll put all the books that you need for the day as usual, then put your homework folder in front. Since this folder can only fit worksheets, you'll put any homework involving books in front of this folder. This is the homework section. So when you get home, you can just take out the entire front section and get this homework pile done first. This is literally what I did until college. Simple yet effective. Next, how to put yourself ahead of your peers. Set up a proper LinkedIn profile now. I know you've been putting it off. This tip isn't as important if you're a secondary school student, but if you're a college or university student, then you know what I'm talking about. Set up your LinkedIn profile now. If you didn't know, LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network on the internet. It allows you to connect with other students and professionals working in the field that you're interested in and beyond. And you can also learn skills to advance your career. A lot of students make LinkedIn accounts because their college and university ask them to, but not many actually put in the effort to set up a good profile. So if you want to stand out to potential employers, dedicate a day or two to do up your LinkedIn account. My favorite creator that taught me how to make a great resume and LinkedIn profile is Won Salting, so I'll leave all their links in the description box below. They don't know I'm shouting them out. Hi, if you're watching. <laughs> Please don't underestimate the power of having a good LinkedIn profile. You can get a job at Google, Snapchat, Tesla, Instagram, and other amazing companies 
just by networking on LinkedIn. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, but make sure that you have a legit LinkedIn profile or I'll just think that you're spam. Next, second hand, second hand, second hand. You'll only use things like lab coats or goggles a few times throughout the whole year. So don't be like me and buy everything brand new only for them to collect dust at the end. Politely ask your lecturer or teacher to ask their older students if anyone is willing to sell their old equipment or stationery. You can also go on Facebook groups and ask if anyone is willing to sell their notes. Of course, it's always, always better to write your own notes if you find them useful. But if you really don't have time, just buy someone else's notes and build upon them. I'm always only giving you guys practical tips. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you like school or not, and why? I'd be sure to reply. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you Idonati for sponsoring this video and thank you you guys for a hun 200 315,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.